Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Choose multiple answers. Listen to the recording and answer the question by selecting all the correct responses. You will need to select more than one response. I would like to share the few problems I had to face in the process. There were some people such as this one person whom I met in a restaurant who would talk only on the condition of anonymity. Then there was this gentleman from France who did agree to talk but changed his mind the next day. However, I finally did get to meet with him. I also had to face issues with some when the questions became personal and after a point, the participants backed out like one person I met on the street. An eye-opening case was a businessman from the United States. He was very verbose until I asked whether or not his business was involved in this sort of evil. He then refused to tell me the nature of his work and then broke off the interview. It was very difficult to control my temper at times, but I had to focus on my study, so I had to make sure I kept myself calm. Despite the problems and resistance, I met with a wide variety of subjects and was able to collect enough data to gather some rather startling information on our views regarding corruption in Britain. Multiple choice. Choose multiple answers. Listen to the recording and answer the question by selecting all the correct responses. You will need to select more than one response. Cancer is a category of diseases that are distinguished by abnormal growth of cells that leads to the origin of lumps called tumors. Leukemia is the exception because it forbids the normal functioning of blood by creating chunk-like formations. These formations grow in size and impede the functions of various organ systems. Sometimes it goes unchecked because of the absence of symptoms in the early stages. These are several agents that aid cancer and these are known as carcinogens. These are culpable of damaging DNA. So, that means the culprits are carcinogens and in order to prevent this disease, we should avoid exposing ourselves to them. But how do they lead to cancer? Before we proceed to discussing its actual mechanism, I want to make it clear that carcinogens are not solely responsible for damaging DNA. These are only extrinsic agents along with radiation, exhaust and viruses. Intrinsic agents include macrophagia and neutrophil malfunctioning. All of these factors lead to damaging DNA. This type of changes which occurs in DNA is called a mutation. Furthermore, free radicals are evident soon after the mutation of cancer of both types. These free radicals, after making a cell abnormal, further escalate the erratic behavior of all other cells in the vicinity. Hence, the cancer progresses and grows. Multiple choice. Choose multiple answers. Listen to the recording and answer the question by selecting all the correct responses. You will need to select more than one response. Right. This dream is all about hiking. A group of people are trying to reach the top of the mountain. They're nearly at the peak. But the dreamer gets separated from the others when the fork starts rolling in. He stumbles around for a bit and then goes back down to the base. When the sun comes out, he finds himself in the middle of a field of huge red flowers. A happy ending then? I don't think so. I feel that getting separated from the rest of the group can be seen as the group bearing or abandoning him. But then it's his own decision to go back to where he started, isn't it? When he's surrounded by the flowers, this could mean that there's pressure on him to confirm, but then he rejects that. Yeah, 
but the flower is basically an epitome of splendor, an affirmative symbol. I think he's back in his comfort zone.